thing that how you can create a professional email address using a hosting platform and in our case we are using this Bluehost. So what do you mean by that professional or work email? Uh, let's say if I have Pratik at the digitalpratik.com, so that's a professional email versus I might have Pratik at gmail.com. So anything which is uh, with respect to any email with respect to your domain name is your work or professional email. So we're going to be creating that kind of email right now using our hosting platform. So log into your Bluehost and once you're logged in, you'll see this home page and you will click on advanced settings over here. Click on advanced and right over there you will see something like email. So now what I'm going to do is uh, let's scroll. You can scroll and reach this email account or you can also say command F on Mac or control F or window, on Windows and simply search for email and you'll get this email accounts. All right. So I'll click on this email accounts. And if you have never created an email account, probably you won't see anybody. Uh, or anything over here but I have created several I have already used like 40 emails I have so that's the reason why I have uh, plenty of emails now what I'm going to do is click on create and all you have to do is uh, select your domain all right so first let's suppose we'll select the domain so I want uh, this to be like uh, digitalbate.com and right over here I'll say uh, this to be let's say mm -mm, Pratik at Digital Bate or let's say uh, DPU Digital Pratik University at Digital Bate uh, whatever yeah. uh, test you can use test right test uh, yeah this would be better so what I'll do is I'll use this particular email to create all the new accounts uh, for this entire university so this would be a better option like test at the rate uh, digitalbate.com in fact I might have digital Pratik university in this one yep there you go digital Pratik university so I'll say test at digital Pratik university.com and just enter your password and hit create so that is what I'm going to do and say unlimited don't want any welcome email click on create and there you go I have created this email now uh, just for a starting point if you don't want to use G Suite or any professional thing where you want to invest money what you can do is uh, you can go to once again advanced go to forwarders and over here click on add forwards or oh, add forwarder and select uh, the one which you just created test at the rate digitalpratikuniversity.com and I want to forward all my emails to this particular email let's say I'm Ian you are awesome at gmail.com this is one of the like uh, common email which I use uh, which I don't often enough see but for only like a couple of emails I see that uh, check this in inbox because on this email probably I'll have like almost like 30,000 40,000 emails all the time but anyways, like test at the rate digitalpratikuniversity.com. So anybody who is using this email, anybody who is sending, let's suppose you guys are sending an email at test at the rate digitalpratikuniversity.com, then I don't have to log into test at the rate digitalpratikuniversity.com. I can actually simply log into my Gmail ID, which is with I mean you are awesome at gmail.com. And I will actually receive all the emails which you are sending at test at the rate digitalpratikuniversity.com. So that's like an email forwarder, all right? You are receiving all your emails on this particular ID which are being sent on this particular one. So I'll click on add forwarder and bingo, there you go. Now, if you don't want to do forwarder and you might be thinking that how uh, I can natively, I natively uh, access this test at the red digital university.com. Once again, go to advanced. And so basically you'll have to log into Bluehost and then go to your email accounts and that would be view inbox or something similar option for like let's search for test at the red digital university.com and you can click on check email all the time so you can save this link for yourself right 
and it will log into your web mail this is known as web mail wherein you will get a uh, default web mail application so i generally use a uh, round cube if i want to use it so i click on this round cube and this will open up the entire web mail for now test at the digitalpratikuniversity.com but i don't log into these kind of web mails because i'll redirect it to my gmail addresses but yes you have to remember that when you reply then it will be replying from your gmail address not this particular one so that that is a uh, drawback but if you generally want to use like for general purpose you can do this forwarder or do this or by g suite right so that is that's it for this particular one i'll see you in the next one